What is up guys, Erock here. So uh, today I'm gonna give you a quick drill that you can do that will make you absolutely slay out and the newly released Realism Battle Royale mode. Uh, so as you know, it requires a different approach. It has a different meta. Uh, headshots count for, I mean, you can down, if the range is, if you're close enough, you can down in one shot to the head. So um, I'm gonna show you this quickly. So you, go, you wanna go into a private match. You're gonna select local game because it's better connection. I'm gonna go into, so for map, uh, for game setup, we want the map to be um, a small map. We need a small map, either shipment or stack. I would personally use stack because it has longer sight lines on the sides. And then we're gonna go into game mode and we're gonna select free for all. Uh, then we're gonna select game rules. We're gonna go up to 30 minutes or so. You can go longer if you want, but that's, I mean, that's what I usually do. You can do two sessions if you want. The, the, obviously, the more you do, the better it is. You're gonna set to the score limit to 250. The match start time, you're gonna set to five seconds just because it's quicker. Um, then you're gonna go into the player tab and you're gonna set the uh, max health to 250 points. For team, you're just gonna disable kill cam just because it's quicker. Um, and uh, on the gameplay tab, a tab you're going to select spawn ammo mags you're going to put them on max and the crucial one you're going to put headshots only to enabled and you can also put the uh, health steal to enabled as well i mean you can play around with some of these settings but i would suggest to keep it as close or exactly as i have it because it's, it's proven you know uh you're going to go into bot setup next and you're going to set about 9 10 bots it depends how how you're finding it you can reduce it slightly if you're finding it too many um, and then you can uh, go into bot difficulty. I suggest keeping it at regular. If it's too hard, you can set it to recruit and start from there. You can go up if you're finding it too easy. You can go up to hardened or veteran, but I can recommend leaving it here. It's literally just target practice. So as I said previously in the new game, headshots count, like it's a huge headshot multiplier. So it depends on the range, but you can usually down them in one shot. Um, so you're gonna wanna recreate your loadout from Warzone, you're going to want to take something that's quite close to it. So I'm going to use the Growl. I don't actually use the M13, but Growl is fine for this purpose and an MP7. And then you're literally just going to go because you can't shoot. See what happens if I shoot their body? Nothing. It's only when you go for their head. It forces you to go for their head. I can't, I can't play and talk. I find that difficult. So if I don't do that well, it's you literally just go for their heads as many as you can. Don't worry if you die uh, a lot. That's you know that's not the issue here. It's literally just practice. Don't take it you know don't take it personal. I take it so much. If a bot kills me, my 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 my, my aim there isn't perfect. I'm doing it at the same time as I'm um, recording. So um, but the aim is just just get this 30 minutes in or 250 if you can get up uh, up to that. Trust me, I've I've did this before the game. I've done it, and uh, the difference it makes is crazy. It's, I mean, it's, it's it was almost like once I went into the uh, realism battle royale mode, it was kind of magnetic. I was just aiming for their heads, you know, and because the damage multiplier is so high, you're gonna kill them before they kill you. Guaranteed, like it's you're gonna see the difference. Just try it out, and uh, I'm curious to hear how you guys get on with it. But this is basically it, just like slay out, just go, you know, switch to your MP7, to your whatever. Just go for, for the headshots. I guarantee you this will, as soon as you load that mode in, you're gonna feel the difference. Run, if you can run, like the more you can, you can do it every every day before a session, before you jump into it, or you can do it uh, multiple times a day. Obviously, it helps out a lot. You'll see it anyway. Um, that's it from me. This was a quick tip. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. I hope you find this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments. If it helped you, it will massively help you. And I, you don't even have to tell me that because I tried it already. So um, yeah, that's it from me. And thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz, you know, whatever. <laughs> all right, guys, I see you in the next one. Thank you. See ya.